In this video, we're going to show you how to add a left menu to your site. So Bridge comes with a powerful design panel that allows you to customize your left menu. There are many different looks that you can achieve. So let's take a look at some examples. On this particular demo site, we see a left menu that's always open. On this demo site, the left menu is initially closed and I can toggle it on and off through this icon. And on this demo here, the left menu is transparent. And when I start scrolling, the menu gets a solid white background. So in the first part of the video, we're going to show you how to create a basic left menu. And then we're going to go over some design options. So let's get started. So this is the site that I will be working on. And when you install the bridge theme, it comes with a top header by default. So that's what we currently see here. So let's go ahead and add a left menu. I'm going to navigate to code options header. And over here where it says switch to left menu, I'm going to click on yes. And then save changes. Let's refresh my page we can now see this left menu area. Now let's go ahead and add a menu to this area. I'm going to navigate to appearance menus. Down here where it says menu settings, I'm going to assign my menu to top navigation. So the menu that you assign to this top navigation area, this menu will also display in your left menu area. So let's go ahead and save. I'm going to refresh my page. And we now have a menu. Now let's go over the design options for the menu. I'm going to go back to code options header. And here we can find the design options. First of all, it says left menu area type. And there are two basic types to choose from. By default, the menu is always opened. And you can also set your menu to initially hidden. We've previously seen an example of the initially hidden menu. That's this menu here. So I can toggle it on by clicking the icon. And both of these menu types come with a slightly different set of options. If you're using the initially hidden type, you can set a width for your menu. Whereas if you're using the default menu type, it comes with a predefined width. Now, if you're using the default menu type, you have an option of setting a transparent left menu area. And we've also seen an example of the transparent left menu. So here is an example. So I'm going to set this transparent left menu and I'm going to save changes. And let's see what this looks like on my site. After refreshing my page, we don't see much of a difference. And that's because this option here for the transparent left menu, it's meant to be used when you have a slider at the top of your page. For example, the way that we have a slider on this page. If you're not using a slider on your page, then we recommend keeping this option turned off because it will not work as expected. And if you are planning on using a slider on your page and you want to have a transparent left menu, I'll just quickly remind you that there are several different ways of creating a slider with Bridge. You can create a code slider, or you can also create your slider using Slider Revolution or the Layer Slider plugin. Both of these plugins come bundled with the Bridge theme. Now, I'm quickly going to open this page in my backend. Here it is. If you're using a revolution slider on your page and you want to have a transparent left menu, you should add your slider through this field here. If you watched our previous video on setting up the revolution slider, you might remember that there are two different ways of adding slider revolution to your page. You can add it through WordPress Bakery's short code, or you can add your slider through this field here. So if you want to use a transparent menu, you should just make sure that you're adding it through this field here, because if you're adding it through WordPress Bakery, your slider will be in grid and the transparency effect will not work as expected. 
All right, let's go back and look at the remaining design options. So the remaining options are fairly self-explanatory. You can choose a submenu opening style. You can assign a background color for your menu. Or alternatively, you can upload an image to be used in the background. Down here, we have some typography options. You will find options for your first level, second level, and third level menu items. If you're using a left menu, you can create up to three different levels of menu items. And if you're not sure how to create different levels of menu items, we recommend checking out our video on how to create a menu in Bridge. All right, so we covered the design options for the left menu. Now let's go ahead and change this default logo that comes with the theme. I'm going to navigate to Code Options Logo. And to change your logo, you will want to upload your logo image in this field here, the one that says Logo Image Normal. There is one more field here that's related to the left menu, and that's this field here, Logo Image Side Menu Area Bottom. Now this field applies if you're using a left menu that's initially hidden. So let's go back to our demo site for a moment. Looking at this hidden left menu, we can see that there is a logo image here at the bottom. If you want to add your image here, then you can upload this image in this field. So let's go ahead and see an example. I'm going to upload different logo images for my left menu area. First of all, I'm going to go back to header and I'm going to set my menu to be initially hidden. Let's save. Let's refresh. Now my menu is hidden. We have an opening icon here, but looking at the bottom, there is no image. And when I open my menu, we see the default bridge logo. So let's go ahead and add different logo images. I'm going to go to Code Options Logo. And here I'm going to upload a different logo image. So this is an image that I've previously prepared. And down here, I'm going to upload a logo for the initially hidden menu. Let's save. And let's refresh my page. So we can now see that I have a logo image here at the bottom. And when I open this menu, I also have a logo up here. Now, if you've browsed through our demo sites, you might have noticed that we've added all sorts of content to our left menu areas. On this demo site here, we can see some social icons and we can also see copyright text. You can add all sorts of content to your left menu area and this is done through widgets. So let's navigate to appearance widgets. Here we see a widget area called left menu area. And as the name suggests, this is where you can add content to appear to your left menu area. So I'm going to go ahead and add some social icons. I'm going to drag the code social icon widget here. I've now added four social icons to my left menu area. So let's go ahead and refresh my page. And now we can see some social icons here. So in this video, we covered how to create a left menu. I hope that you found it useful. If you would like to be notified about upcoming videos, you can subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section and we'll try to get back to you. Thank you for watching.